We can use ether.fire to stake our Ethereum, but also restake it. So we get the base layer rewards, just like other liquid staking tokens, which is right here. But we also give our stake and our security to layer twos who pay us an extra fee, and that will be the restaking rewards. That's what Etherfi does, and they use Eigenlayer for this. So we take out ETH and we give it to Ether.Fi. They stake it on Ethereum, and we get this liquid staking token known as EETH. This is similar to staked ETH from Lido and RETH from Rocket Pool, liquid staking token that you own in your wallet, and it's getting those staking fees. But what Etherby also do is go and put it with Eigenlayer, which is infrastructure that allows for that security to go to layer twos and they pay us an extra yield on top. So as you can see, you earn Ethereum staking rewards. It's automatically restaked in Eigenlayer. EETH is a rebasing token like staked ETH. So that is the yield that you get paid that comes into your wallet in the form of more tokens over time. Uh, you can also wrap EETH into wrapped EETH and that's an accumulating token. So the money that's earned just comes into a higher price for wrapped EETH over time. You can use that in DeFi. That's what DeFi protocols want. So if you want to use DeFi, you can wrap your EETH in this protocol. Restaking has extra risks. You have extra smart contracts that you have to deal with. And so that's extra risk. And restaking increases the chance of slashing where these layer twos potentially, you know, aren't doing what we want. And so there are extra risks commensurate with obviously the extra yield that we want to get when we're restaking. Ether.Fi works on the Ethereum mainnet, so we need to go and buy some ETH and get it into our wallet. So I'm gonna connect my wallet here to Ether.Fi, so connect wallet up in the top right. And I'm just gonna connect a MetaMask wallet here. If you don't have a wallet set up, I'll leave video guides for that down in the description. MetaMask, Rabi, Trust Wallet, all good. I'll leave video guides on how to set those up. It takes five minutes to set up a wallet. And then from there, we need to get some Ethereum into our wallet. So what I'm gonna do is bring up my MetaMask and I'm just gonna copy my wallet address. This is my Ethereum wallet address right here. So I'm gonna uh, copy that and then go over to an exchange. I have some ETH here. So uh, Ethereum, just you know, normal Ethereum. I'm gonna paste in my wallet address right here. And then I wanna withdraw this over the main net. So ETH ERC20 main net. Yes, fees are a little bit expensive than the layer twos, but it's just how it is for now. So Ethereum main net is gonna cost me $5 to withdraw that. Uh, and that goes out to my Ethereum main net address. If you want some deposit bonuses and trading bonuses on OKX and Binance and some other exchanges I use, I'll leave them in the description below. Now that we have some ETH in our wallet on the Ethereum mainnet, the protocol will see that we have that balance. So down here, we have a balance and I can use any amount to go and stake. Now you're gonna to have to pay some gas fees, gonna be around about four or $5 as of making this video, might be more or less when you're watching. So you can choose any amount that you want to stake and it's going to swap it one for one with EETH. So 0.1 ETH goes into 0.1 EETH. And that's going to accrue as you can see right here, these staking rewards. So for right now, because you are using e uh, Ether.Fi to directly stake on validators for you, you're getting the base layer rewards, which as of right now works out at 3.63%. So that's the base layer. Now you also get restaking rewards because this is going to be restaked in Eigenlayer and those layer twos are gonna pay extra fees for the security that you provide them with your stake. As of making this video, restaking isn't really a thing because the layer twos aren't doing it yet. The infrastructure is still being built. And so there's no restaking APR as of right now. However, what is happening as of making this video is Eigenlayer points. And so Eigenlayer is trying to attract people to stake initially so that they actually have this stake there that layer twos can use. And so what you're getting is Eigenlayer points through Ether.Fi. Eigenlayer points potentially may be turned into an airdrop of tokens in the future. And that's you know up to Eigenlayer. If this is in the future that you're watching this, this may just have a restaking APR that may be some percent and that may be good or bad for you. Eigenlayer points might not be there because the points will turn into restaking APR once the layer twos are using Eigenlayer. As of right now, you're getting points which potentially can turn into an airdrop. At the moment also, you're also getting Ether.Fi lo loyalty points, which may or may not be used for an airdrop for this protocol in the future specifically as well. It may turn into lower fees or something. We don't know, but points are typically 
something that may be used for airdrops in the future. So for right here, if you do want to stake 0.1 into 0.1, it's one for one, so we'll press stake. And you can see this transaction in your wallet. So for right now, the max uh, fee that I'll pay is around $5 and then I can stake this amount. So if you're happy with that, you can go and confirm in your wallet that you want to go ahead and pay for that transaction. What will happen is that the ETH will go out and you'll get this new token in your wallet called eETH. I'm just gonna reject that as I don't want to go through, but now we'll go on to actually using eETH in different ways. If you just keep the eETH in your wallet, it would automatically accrue all of the staking and restaking rewards uh, at the time that you have it. However, if you want to use the token in DeFi, many people reuse their liquid staking tokens in different types of liquidity pool for many different reasons to earn extra yield from those pools or anything else. You're gonna have to wrap it. Most uh, DeFi protocols want a wrapped version. So we press wrap and we turn our eETH into wrapped eETH. eETH is a rebasing token. So you get more tokens to represent the yield that you earn. Wrapped eETH, has the same amount of tokens, but it will go up in value versus eETH and ETH. So if you have one eETH, which is the liquid staking token, we can see as of right now, you get 0.97 wrapped eETH. That is a direct protocol swap. Wrapped eETH has of course earned uh, yield over and above eETH because this is rebasing and this is accumulating. So our one goes into 0.97 as of right now, and that will get less and less over time. This is fine. This is a direct swap one for one on the protocol based on the exchange between them at the given time. So if you want to use it in DeFi, wrap it right here. Uh, you can press eETH here and then just press wrap and that will wrap it within the protocol. Then the eETH will be swapped into wrapped eETH. That will still go up in value, but you can use it in different DeFi protocols. If you want to unstake your tokens from the protocol, you can do that, but it does depend on which one of these tokens that you have now. If you have wrapped eETH, you can't unstake that. So what you have to do is unwrap it first back into eETH and then go and unstake. So come to the wrap tab and then just reverse this via clicking this in the middle. Now, if you have any wrapped eETH, you can unwrap it back into eETH. So choose the amount and you receive whatever the exchange rate is at the time back into eETH. So you can press, you know, wrap here and go through with that transaction. Once you have eETH back, you can press stake and then reverse it again. And it says withdraw. And you can see eETH now will be withdrawn and unstaked. And that goes back into, you know, normal base layer Ethereum. And then from there, you can send that out from your wallet into an exchange or anywhere else. If the wallet you have connected has some eETH in there, then you can go over to the portfolio page and you can see your dashboard. So we'll click that. And then at the top, it shows you how much eETH that you have and any wrapped eETH that you have. So you can see that right here in the dashboard. You can see the staking rewards are accruing and that will obviously increase the amount of eETH that you have in your wallet over time. The restaked APR, again, if you're watching this when restaking is live, then this will have some sort of APR as well. And that will be going towards eETH. And for right now, as of making this video, you have Ether.Fi loyalty points and Eigenlayer points that will be accruing at certain intervals. And so you can just see that right here. Now, there's also a DeFi tab here, and then you can refer people as of right now. I think you get extra loyalty points for Ether.Fi. So that's it, and that's how you stake and see your balances. What we can also do on decentralized exchanges like Curve Finance is actually provide liquidity on them, and then we earn the trading fees that traders pay when they swap tokens. So if you press Curve like this and go again, it actually takes you through to the liquidity pool page. Now what this is, is a liquidity pool between wrapped eETH and wrapped ETH. And so if you provide liquidity here, so let's say you have one wrapped eETH, you can do that. What happens is that Curve can allow you to put both of these tokens into a liquidity pool and then earn the yield from traders, which currently right now is pretty decent, as you can see here. Now there's some incentives here, I'm sure, and other things that are going uh, on because they want to incentivize liquidity into the pools. But essentially what happens is, the amount that the liquidity pool earns each day from trading fees, a portion of that actually comes to you for providing that liquidity. Curve makes this easy, whereby you don't need both of these tokens. What you can do is have one of the tokens, and as long as you have that value, Curve will take the value of that token, it will sell some to get the other token, because you need both tokens in a pool, and whatever that uh, is, 
that uh, balance between them, it will put both of those tokens into the liquidity pool. And then in your wallet, it will give you a receipt token. So you get that receipt token into your wallet. You are then providing liquidity into the pool and you, you're getting the trading fees from there. You're also getting, of course, uh, still the um, yield from wrapped e ETH. Although, because it's about half and half, you're only getting half the yield now from wrapped e ETH, but you're also getting the yield from the liquidity pool on Curve. This may or may not work out better in terms of yield or not, right? Because it's an open market, sometimes the yield may be great, sometimes not. That's up to the individual. Now, you're increasing risk here, right? Because you've got wrapped staked ETH and you're putting it into liquidity pool in Curve, right? And so there's lots of different risks here that is kind of increasing the risk all of the time. And the yield that you're getting out of it, the extra yield if it's there, may not really be worth it for you. It's going to be up to the individual. But from right here, you just put an amount in, you approve and deposit that into the pool, and then you will be you know, earning those fees. As of right now, there is a, bo a bonus here, but it's pretty degen to do this and you know, maybe not recommended for most. If you want to know exactly how to add tokens into liquidity pools on Curve Finance, I'll leave it for the specific video guide down in the description. What we can also do with uh, Ether.Fi or EETH is use Pendle. So if we click on Pendle, what we can do is go to Pendle Earn. And then from right here, there is a, a market for many of these yield bearing tokens. What this does is essentially split up the underlying token and then the potential forward yield that we think we're going to get. Because these tokens have a yield, right? 3% from ETH, you get restaking rewards, maybe points and eigenlayer points that turn into an airdrop, right? And so over the next, let's say, 12 months of holding this token, there is a perceived yield that the token is going to generate. And so because that is something we can trade, well, there's a marketplace for it. So if you have EETH and you've staked and you have it in your wallet, you can connect your wallet uh, up in the top right here to Pendle Finance. And then we have EETH, but there are other uh, liquid restaking tokens as well. You can see that have markets here. We'll click on EETH and you can see up to 30%. So what does that mean? Click into this. This is a marketplace for sell it, buying and selling the forward expected yield of one of these tokens because we're getting staking, restaking, potential airdrop points, all of that stuff that is the yield, that gets split up and traded. So we can split that off and sell it to someone and they're going to buy it from us. Why would this happen? Well, for us, we know that there is an expected yield that we're gonna get over the next 12 months. We don't really know what that's going to be, right? Or we do know what it's gonna be and we just wanna sell it forward. So as you can see, this is a fixed income because there is an expiry date for this. So the 27th of June, as of making this video, someone out there in the market is willing to pay us a rate, an annualized rate of 30%. So what we can do right now is take the forward yield that we're gonna get, package it up and sell it off to the market and we get a 30% yield as an annualized figure. We then forfeit all of our projected yield that the token is gonna to generate. So the staking rewards, any points and airdrops, anything like that that comes to that part of the token, we will forfeit that and we sell it to them. They are paying us a 30% annualized yield because they probably think that the annualized yield is gonna be more than that, maybe 40%, 50%. And so they're taking a risk by buying our yield, hoping to get more than that in the future. For us, we're getting a fixed APY that may be really good. And we say, you know what? We just want that fixed APY. We're not sure. And so we can sell that part of the yield. So what we can do from here, if you have EETH in your wallet, just connect up in the top right, is uh, know that we're enter entering into a contract which has an expiry date of this right here. And at that date, you know, we'll get the swap. So we have some EETH here and I can put an amount in like this. And it just says my position at maturity is worth this much, right? So we get that payment from them at maturity and we swap that right out. And so they get all of the other things and the yield that we were going to get at that point as well. So we can deposit that here, just click deposit uh, and that will take you through, you have to approve EETH, right? So if EETH isn't approved, you have to approve that in your wallet, pay a blockchain fee to approve 
And once it's approved, you can go ahead and deposit that in. And then at maturity, that's what happens. So this is a marketplace for selling forward yield. And so you can sell that, you get that fixed APY, but you also forfeit all of the yield to that buyer. I'll leave all the related video guides down in the description below. Deposit bonuses to the exchanges I use, I'll link at the top of the description as well. I'm James, it's my ZG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.